My name is Jim Kirk, and uh, where did I grow up? I grew up in the Sunset District, out by here by the beach. I've been here my whole life. I'm one of the one of the original members of the Sunset out here. Yeah, so this house originally belonged to my uncle. When he passed away, my mom, my mom got the house, and then for the past 15 years that I've been here, I've been taking care of my mom, and you know, we took care of each other. We were kind of a good team. She passed away about a year and a half ago. My uncle bought this house for probably twenty thousand dollars, and now it's worth one to two million dollars. Is what these homes are going for now. Um, so it makes it very difficult for the artists to keep to keep going. Um, and so it's it's a shame that things have become so overpriced. So yeah, a lot of people know the house as the Starship House. There's the the Starship Enterprise in the backyard and the the model of the Enterprise. And um, partially that was inspired by my name being Jim Kirk. Um, that was part of the inspiration behind doing it. Also, just the fact that the, it was a wonderful series. A lot of the sci-fi at the time was rather dark. And then Gene Roddenberry came out with the Star Trek series, and it was a very positive outlook on our future. Um, everyone had come together as a people, and we, you know, we moved beyond all our differences. And um, I just really appreciate the, the the positive aspect of the series, and um, I think it's a good thing we can model our lives after, and something we can strive for. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. I built the the Enterprise out of uh, all, mostly all recycled materials and a bunch of Christmas lights, which is pretty much how they built the original set. Um, that was part of the inspiration also, that I knew that I could, <laughs> I could build it, because it was built in such a simple manner. Um, you know, it's pretty low-tech um, low tech stuff, the way they built the original set. And so that was part of the inspiration. I figured I could pull it off. So yeah, it's mostly all recycled foam core and uh, Christmas lights and just mostly all recycled materials. Ever since I was a kid, I would always, um, that's just the way I, I was. I would always create art and um, models. I'd make models out of stuff. I didn't have a, a lot of money growing up, so I would kind of make my own, make my own stuff out of stuff. That's where, um, that's where I find the most joy, is um, working on my projects and creating art and something that other people can enjoy and ins it inspires other people as well music art it's a wonderful way to inspire people it's all about art and um preserving also preserving a lot of the the history of just history in general um i've got models of some of the things that we used to have out here in the sunset district uh the old cliff house and the sutro baths so part of what we're trying to do right now is to keep the place going. Um, it's really a shame that, that a lot of people are getting pushed out. A lot of artists and musicians are getting pushed out of neighborhoods um, because of the economy and because of all the money pouring into the city. It's t almost 20 years of, of art that's, it, that's taken me to create this. And now the, we could, could possibly get pushed out. And we really need, really need support from the community to try to keep it going, um, not just for the house itself, but for what it's become and the the, um, the creative energy. And it's become a place where artists kind of come and, and get together and people get to know the neighbors. And it's just really a, almost a community center that it's become. So when people do come over, they, they, they're usually pretty blown away by the, by the place. It kind of turns their whole day around. Um, and they leave... Um, with, I like to believe, a new perspective on life. The whole idea of Star Trek is, is a vision of our future where we've all come together, and I try to do that at, in my home. I, you know, like I, have the, I have the door open all the time and welcome anyone, you know? It doesn't matter who you are. Um, so it's kind of that, that philosophy of Star Trek where everyone, everyone is welcome and everyone is hopefully working towards the same goal. Um, so it's definitely something to strive for, and that's kind of like what we're about here, is welcoming, welcoming every, everybody and giving everybody a chance and trying, try, at least trying to work together as a community.